Moldova is preparing to withdraw Russian troops from Transnistria amid large-scale combat in Ukraine. The unrecognized Republic of Transnistria, which borders, it found itself in a new and unpleasant reality for its government. The risks that the dormant conflict on the Dniester may be unfrozen have increased. Chisinau has openly stated that this territory should be demilitarized, which involves both the withdrawal of Russian troops and the disarmament of local militants. The Kremlin has already cautioned Moldova to be more careful in its statements on Transnistria. In early February, the Moldovan parliament approved amendments to the country's criminal code, introducing both the notion of separatism and liability for separatist actions, that is, actions committed with the aim to separate a part of the Republic of Moldova's territory. The country's president, Maya Sandu, approved the amendments, which will go into effect in a month. One way or another, the law has already created a new reality in which various options are possible. The first one is that the new law does not actually change anything and none of Tiraspol's officials will be persecuted for separatism. The second option can be that the Transnistrian officials will live in the mode of a besieged fortress, not leaving the Republic's territory for fear of being captured and prosecuted. In this case, all talks with Chisinau will be held only in Transnistria or suspended altogether, which, under the conditions of an unresolved conflict, increases the risk of the situation on the Dniester exploding. The third scenario is the detainment of any Transnistrian official by Moldova's law enforcement, which would lead to an escalation with unpredictable consequences. There is a fourth hypothetical scenario which politicians and experts in Kiev bring up from time to time, involving Ukraine's armed forces helping Chisinau establish control over Transnistria. All these options won't necessarily be implemented, but the hostilities on Ukrainian soil together with Chisinau's desire to prevent both the militarization and separation of Transnistria make those scenarios not that improbable. 